guys, this is Kim again, and I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and having a great day. Um, I just wanted to talk to you today about some things that I've been thinking about, and it has to do with some things that I've experienced this week. And it's about how we as women need to stop competing with each other. Our power is in uniting and gathering together and helping one another. And we compete with each other a lot. And what I want to do is just go over the reasons why we do that and why we need to stop doing that. The first reason why we compete with each other as women is insecurity. And the reasons why you do that is because you have not accepted your gifts you haven't accepted yourself, you haven't accepted your abilities and your strengths, and you're looking outside of yourself and looking at someone else and comparing yourself to that person. But what you need to do is just look at what you have to offer and your gifts and your strengths, and you will see that you are unique and beautiful all by yourself. You don't need to compare yourself to other people because you're a beautiful person and we need to start believing that about ourselves. The second reason that we compete is that we don't believe that life is abundant. We don't believe that there are opportunities for all of us. We only believe that only certain people are going to get those opportunities and that's not true. If you put yourself out there and you show who you are and there are opportunities for all of us so don't uh, shortchange yourself and believe that only uh, the prettiest or uh, the slimmest or the smartest will get opportunities. There are opportunities out there for all of us and we need to believe that for ourselves and stop comparing ourselves to other people. The next reason that we compete is that we need to prove to ourselves that we're okay. We don't believe that we're good enough just because. Uh, you know, just being a, a grateful and a nice and a, a, a good human being. We have to believe that um, we have to do all these external things or we have to get all of this approval from external indicators in our lives in order for us to feel like we're okay. But you have to believe just being who you are makes you okay. You're good enough regardless of what somebody else is doing or regardless of what somebody else looks like or anything like that. I will tell you, I, I have told someone in my life that it doesn't matter if she is the most gorgeous person on earth, she's still not me. And you have to believe that. You have to believe that. So you're good enough all by yourself and believe that. The last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is how some of us as women have an unhealthy need to be accepted by others. Um, I've been guilty of that and that is something that we all need to get out of our lives, period. We go onto social media and we put out posts and, and things like that and we get likes and you know people are uh, you know talking to us about the things that we put out online, but we're not getting any likes when we talk to ourselves. That's where your likes need to come from. You are, accept yourself. Um, it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing if they accept you or not. That's their business. It doesn't matter. Accept yourself, be loving to yourself, and know that you are okay all by yourself because you were born. Um, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. You are a great person and you have to believe that. So that's all I wanted to talk to you all about today. I love you guys. Always love yourself. And I will talk to you on the other side. Always love yourself. Bye.